Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord, Desiran, and welcome to the Dark Pictures Anthology, Little Hope. <laughs> I've been waiting on this. I've been sitting on this for a while, honestly. Um, I picked up the game day of release, uh, October 30th. But because I was in the middle of two other games, I couldn't start it. So here we are. Blood Rain has been completed. I finally have a slot in my uh, in my in my uh, video schedule. Boom! We can finally play Little Hope. Honestly, I've been looking forward to this. I've I, I've enjoyed these games like Until Dawn, Man of Medan. I've enjoyed them greatly. A lot of fun. And. Uh, it seems my horror movie knowledge helps me in most cases, but we we shall see how this goes. Whoa, what? Oh, no, that's fine. It skipped end. It skipped end. <laughs> oh my god! Stop it already. Okay. I just slide her until left image is invisible. Middle image is barely visible. I didn't even know there was a middle image, so... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. We'll get it. That should do, I think. Right about there. <clears throat> the anthology. A few other games in the anthology. Oh, okay. Play alone. Don't play alone. Okay. Well, I'm doing single player, so let's do this. Continue new story, load story, scene selection. Well, new story, obviously. Diversion. Roadside Diner. Oh, well, there we go. <clears throat> Little Hope. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Roadside Diner, 9.42 p.m. present day. How's it going, sir? <clears throat> it's a bus. Feel like it's setting up some what? Oh. Huh. 
Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. It's just me, is there a big delay right now? I might actually stop this and then restart. <laughs> Like, the video itself, like, the recording looks like it's fine, but the... There seems to be a noticeable audio delay. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Oh, God. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. The little girl. A girl stood in the road caused the bus driver to lose control and crash the bus. Navigate. Ooh. The little girl. Oh boy. Here we go again. So there are going to be clues and hints to be found. Yeah, when I get a chance to pause the game, I'm going to, uh... I'm going to actually... Stop the recording and start again. Stop it, James! You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously! Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. <sighs> not tonight. No way. Anthony Clark family home Massachusetts 8:20 p.m. She always is these days. Uh I'll go with give At her a break. One of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. 
I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at him, will you? <clears throat> hmm. Hey, Bigfoot! Mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? Um... There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. I do lean towards trying to be a nice guy. Start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? <coughs> Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Oh. Uh. Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> Think she was a marine sergeant of past life. It's crawled up his ass. <sighs> Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Mm. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Hey! Quit acting crazy! <laughs> oh! Jesus! Jeez! You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. This sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Uh, concerned. Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. <sighs> Press and hold R2 to pick up objects. Use R to examine. Some interactions reveal secrets. Secrets you can... You find can be viewed in the collections and characters screen. <laughs> Set the kettle to boil. Okay. 
Triangle, 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 triangle. Okay. Yeah, just turn it off and let him rest. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. Uh, reassuring. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Eld move. Check on Tanya. Well, I'll check on that in a minute. I'm going to pause. Okay, I'm going to cut here really quick. And like I said, I'm just going to check the audio and uh, start the recording back up. So we will be right back. All right, we're back. Let's see if that kind of changes the delay at all. Uh, just gonna take a look around real quick. Oh, press no large to pick up. Uh, New England witch trials. Little Hope Museum, seven ninety nine. Okay. Inspect. Use R to look around. There might be hidden information. I don't see anything. Examine. Shroud of Innocence. I must read for anyone with an interest in. I must read for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Uh, okay. Eh. All right. Let's go. Actually, do what we were going to do to begin with. Wait, what? Wait, what was over here then? Oh, no, that's a back door. We're not going outside. Ooh, what was that? Examine. Pupil name. Megan Clark, attendance. And then, uh, number of days present. 17 days absent 013127 days tardy 234 huh wow six Megan week periods in english than I thought. Ah. 1 a in music some b's yeah mostly uh Oh. Where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. I didn't go upstairs. Where if you don't answer me? You could be right about my family. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. Uh oh. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Uh oh. 
Oh, uh, that's a problem. Shit! Megan! You in there? I've already screwed this up. Oh god. I went around looking at everything. The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan! Oh boy. Oh no, their dad is... Mom? Where the hell is everybody? Anthony! Help! Oh crap. I suppose it's good that we got out of the house, but... Whoa. I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony. Anthony, help! Hey, Dad! Crap. Uh-oh. Oh! Uh Oh crap. Um Penny, Help Megan. On. I got to get Megan out. Oh god. Megan. This is probably a bad idea. Oh. Don't go back inside. Are you nuts? Crap. Great. Oh! stopped any of that? Trophy earned so much death. Did I screw that up completely or was that like just the way it was supposed to go? Dear God.
I keep forgetting I have a time limit on some of that stuff. So did I already screw up completely? Hello. And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Oh. Or has it? Anyway. Look what? to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter... God damn it! ...a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless, and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. A little of both. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self. Be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, hmm. apparently. Hmm. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures mm. in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral mm. to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. Funeral. Do enjoy it. Good. <laughs> Dear God. Okay. I don't know where to take him at his word that I couldn't have done anything about that. Oh, wow. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Oof. Wow.
the hell? Wait, you're alive? Andrew, 18, college student, anxious, detached. Are you? No. Taylor, 22, college student, headstrong, sensitive. John, 43, college professor, rational, overbearing. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Taylor, bush crash ah! site. Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? Uh, compassion. How is he doing anyway? Doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Oh, okay. Uh, so that helped with John? I call you doctor now. Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. Uh, compliant. I already tried once, but... I'm on it. Consider it up. Relationship updated. John up. Okay. Hey, Andrew, buddy. How you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though. Just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> Fucking uh. thing, useless piece of crap! May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Oh. Daniel, 20, college student, amiable, oh, defensive. Who? Uh, uh, Angela, 48, mature student, abrasive, understanding. Hey, anyone up there? Hey! Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope, no sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. Okay. <coughs> hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who, who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. Uh. Okay. Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was. Grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. Wait, dream? Take them there. Uh. Reluctant? We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Uh. Where's the bus Where's driver? The driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. 
Uh, reassuring. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right. The quicker we get out. Taylor agreed with John's plan to head into town. All right. Team Taylor. <laughs> Interesting. Quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. All right. Do it. You've only made choices with your head where possible. Use L to move. Okay. Okay, I'm going to call this first episode here. Alright, so, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. And there, if there, if it, I think it's on Steam, so there will be a link in the description. If excuse me, if Little Hope is on Steam, if you want to try it for yourself. Oh man, okay. I don't know what to fully expect here. We'll see what the heck happens, but I can't wait to continue. And we'll just be next episode is just gonna start straight from here because I haven't seen a way to save yet. So, <laughs> we'll just see where it goes. Right, until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>